Hi guys, in this video we are looking at the muscles in our leg. Wonderful, let's start with the posterior aspect of our leg. This muscle right here, that it seems like it has two bellies, this is named gastrocnemius. Now the gastrocnemius is on top of this other muscle right here. So this muscle right here, you see all this, and this is the soleus muscle. So you have the gastrocnemius on top of the soleus muscle, all this. Now, you see this line right here? This is the tandem of the plantaris muscle. So this line is the plantaris and it goes up right here. And if we remove the muscles in the posterior compartment of the thigh, we can see that the plantaris continues right there. You see there? Right there. There is a little bit of the plantaris right there, but you don't need to worry. I'll never tag there, okay? I'm just making a reference so you are aware that it goes up to the thigh area. So, you have here the plantaris over the soleus. And the way you do to remember is that you plant on a soil. So the plantaris is the one that goes over the soleus. Plantaris, soleus, and gastrocnemius. Together, they form this beautiful tandem, which goes and grabs the calcaneus muscle, and that's why this tandem is called the calcaneal tandem. So we are good with these muscles. Now, let's move underneath that chunk of muscles. And now is when things start getting a little more interesting, okay? That's a good word. This muscle right here, basically all these muscles, they are in the posterior aspect of the leg. So these muscles, when they contract, they will cause the decrease in this angle right here. And that is what we call flexion. So when we bend posteriorly, that is flexion. And then it goes back. When we are having the movement of going back, that's extension. So I'm making this reference with the hopes of you realizing that the muscles we'll have here will be the ones that will cause flexion. And the muscles that we'll have here in the anterior aspect of the leg will be the ones causing the extension, right? When we are flexed for us to extend, these muscles right here will need to contract. When you keep that in mind, you can easily remember that these muscles will have the flexor in the name. And then in the opposite side, we'll have the extensors. So if you try very, very hard, you can see this muscle right here. And this muscle is called flexor hallucis longus. And I have no idea why, but since always, I could see the letter H here. And if you can see the letter H, it's very easy to remember that this is the hallucis. So this is the flexor side. So this is the flexor hallucis longus. Now, this muscle right here is in the posterior aspect of the tibia. This is the tibia bone. And this muscle then is named tibialis posterior. And this one is in the knee area. And we already learned that the knee area is what we call popliteal. So this muscle right here is called popliteus. Now, let's go take a look in the anterior aspect of the leg. Here's the tibia bone. And right here, we have a muscle that's in the anterior aspect of the tibia. But we just had the tibialis posterior in the other side, in the posterior aspect. How do you think we name this muscle that is in the anterior aspect of the tibia? This is the tibialis anterior, obviously. Now, this muscle right here is in the opposite side of this muscle right here. Do you remember the name of this muscle? This is the flexor hallucis longus, right? So this one that's in the opposite side, it is on the extensor side, is what we call extensor hallucis longus. Now, 
Halusis makes a reference to the hallux, which is the big toe, right? If you ever get confused, just follow the tandem. So you go here, here's the extensor hallucis longus, just follow it down, follow it down. You see, it ends up in the big toe. So the model tells you that this is hallucis something. Now you know that the anterior aspect is the extensor. Well, you have the name. This is the extensor hallucis longus. Now using the same thinking process, you see this muscle right here? This muscle goes to the digits. And this is in the extensor side, because in the anterior aspect. Consequently, this muscle is the extensor digitorum longus. Extensor digitorum longus. You cannot get confused with the extensor digitorum that we have in our forearm. And you remember that the extensor digitorum does not have the word longus in it because the word longus is only present in the leg. So L for longus, L for leg. Consequently, this is the extensor digitorum longus. Now, this is the extensor digitorum longus. Let's find the muscle that's exactly on the opposite side that will be the flexor digitorum longus. So this is the extensor digitorum longus. Let's flip here and ta-da! This right here is the flexor digitorum longus, okay? So just find one of them and match the muscle that you have on the opposite side because you have the extensor and the flexor, they need to be on the opposite sides. Now, lastly, we know that in the lateral aspect of our leg, we have the fibula, fibula lateral. Look at these muscles right here. We have these two muscles on top of the fibula. Now, can you see that these fibers are more vertical? And these fibers right here are more like oblique? Yes, yeah, so you see these oblique fibers? This is a much shorter, is a brief muscle when you compare to this other one. So this one is the fibularis brevis. And this one, all this, look at the fibers, they're all vertical. All this is the fibularis longus, okay? So you have the fibularis brevis and the fibularis longus on the fibula bone side. Now, the last muscle that is missing is this one right here. You see, this muscle is very short, which means that it is brief. Now look at this, can you see? We have all this going towards the digits and this muscle is in reference to the flexor side. So this is flexor, digitorum, it's going towards the digits, brevis, because it is brief, flexor digitorum brevis. And you had right here, the flexor digitorum longus, because it's the flexor side, and it's longus because it goes the distal phalanx of the digits, but you can easily guess this one right, because you remember that on the opposite side, right here, you have the extensor, and you can literally see that the extensor digitorum longus, extensor digitorum longus, is the one going towards the digits. So you are set.